Welcome to this presentation of Thorium Builder Beta 1. This example purpose is to create a simple progressive web app for a painter. Let's start. First, we we'll create a new project and choose a database web app template. We now set the navbar menu title and change the web app theme to pink color. We add an icon to the toolbar that will display the left panel. Thorium includes thousands of free amazing icons. We add an action to the icon for opening the left panel. Now we open and customize the left panel. We add the picture of the painter. Let's run the web app in order to see how it looks. We will now set up a breakpoint for tablet devices. The left panel is always visible on wide screens. Now let's add some contents to the main page. We add a welcome screen picture and some text. We now want to add two additional pages, one for the artist paintings and the other one for displaying the artist exhibitions. Now we connect the home page toolbar buttons to the new pages. Let's see how it looks. Let's customize the two new pages. We create a collection view for displaying the artist paintings. For the exhibitions page, we have decided to create a database. Let's create a new database category called Exhibition. And then, we can import various pictures of the exhibitions in the database. Now we can add some text descriptions to the records. Finally, we'll geolocate every exhibition. We add a database repeater to the exhibition page for displaying database records. We can now create a new page for displaying the exhibition detail information. We we'll use a database displayer for formatting the record display. We add a map that will automatically display the exhibition location. Finally, we just connect the database repeater to the new record detail page. The last thing we want to achieve is adding a register page, so the users can register to the artist newsletter. Thanks to the Thorium form builder, it is very easy to create a user form. We just add a button to the home page for displaying the register page.
Let's test the user form. Almost finished, let's add some additional settings to the web app. We're adding a custom icon. The project is ready to be published online. Manifest file. Splash screens. Icons. Well, we are now ready. Let's publish the app online with the FTP uploader. It's done, let's see on our mobile how it looks.